Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Trenton and Heath. So today we are going to be doing a complete overhaul on a pair of Allen Edmond First Avenue boots. So this pair of boots has a leather sole, it had a sole protector on it, but the gentleman that brought these in wants to change them over to day-night rubber soles and top lifts. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so the first that we want to do is completely just, we have to remove all of the, uh, the lower part of the boots here. So we're going to remove these top lifts. Yep. Get all these old nails out. Okay, and you can see the Allen Edmonds, they usually put this little rubber piece on top of their heel block. So as long as that's in good shape, which this one is, then we're going to go ahead and keep that on there. And again, one of the things I like most about Allen Edmonds is they are so easy to disassemble. These heel blocks come off much easier than the, the vast majority of shoe brands out there. And again, that's not a bad thing. I mean, you can see, you know, I still have to work to get these off, but there are some shoes that these heel blocks will snap into a million pieces when you try to take them off, and that's not what you want. So again, that's just one of the traits of Allen Edmond shoes that I like a lot. Okay, once that heel block is off, what I like to do now is take some of this glue thinner and just lightly squirt it all over the, the leather sole and let that solvent work its way into the sole and loosen up any of that glue that's holding it on there. It just makes it a whole lot easier to uh, to get the, the boot off at that point. Then I'm gonna take this heel pull here and just work it in between the welt and the sole and that'll give me a nice gap to run my knife along and cut those, uh, cut those stitches. So we've got the sole off. As you can see, everything looks good in here, but we're gonna remove all of this old cork. And uh, you know, you can see they've got a wooden shank in here. Allen Edmonds, it, it's different. Every shoe with Allen Edmonds really varies. I, I mean, we work on hundreds of Allen Edmonds every year, at least 50 a month, and they all vary. Some of them have wooden shanks. Most of them have no shank at all. Uh, some of them have a little cardboard piece that goes right here behind the heel. Honestly, I, I don't know what their reasoning is for the variation in all of their shoes, but this wooden shank is in good shape, so we're gonna keep that, and uh, like I said, I'll go ahead and remove all of the cork here and on the other boot, and then we'll come back and uh, go from there. Okay guys, so I have removed all of the old cork in this shoe. What I also wanted to show you real quickly is just a quick uh, tutorial on the welt of this Allen Edmonds, or a welt in general. Uh, one of the questions that we get a lot is, well, you know, you have to send your shoes back to Allen Edmonds so that they can be put on the original last and, and whatnot. One of the things we'll also do another video on, but while I've already got these shoes, part, I'll just kind of discuss it. There's not a need to put your shoes on the original last when you're having your shoes or boots resold. The only reason that they do that is because when you send it back to Allen Edmonds, they will take this welt off and they will put a new welt on. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a great thing to be able to have a new welt on your shoe when it's being resold. But I always tell folks, if your welt is in good shape, there's zero reason to take that welt off and put a new one on. Um, you know, the welt, as you can see, is a, a pretty thick piece of leather. And leather's strong, and it's not just going to tear. Um, you know, every time we take uh, a sole off and before we resole it, we look along here and we make sure, we pull on it, we make sure that that welt is tightly stitched on. And if it's not, Usually it's in just like a little small section, you know, here on the toe, maybe sometimes here on the side. And that's a quick fix where it's almost like, you know, stitching uh, or mending your shirt. We just take a piece of wax thread, we re-thread it on there and stitch that little bitty section of welt back and it's good to go again. But again, you know, I know we're, I get, I'm gonna get that question a lot and it's a question we get from customers here, you know, do I have to send it back and, and whatnot? No, you, you do not have to send it back. Again, if you want to send it back, that's great. They put a new welt on, uh, but again, there's it's not a necessity to resole your shoe, and by not putting a new welt on, 
the it's not making it any less in quality of, of a shoe repair again you just want to make sure that you're keeping your welt in good shape. Now, if you're one of those guys that you're gonna wear your boot and you don't really pay attention to your shoes at all and you wind up eating through the sole leather and then you start eating into the toe welt right there and, and blow it out, which I've seen customers do, they just walk on the concrete so much they wind up eating this part off. Okay, at that point, absolutely. I would send it back have them put a new welt on and then you're good to go. But if you're someone that pays attention to your shoes, but you know, you, you send it into a good cobbler or whoever to have them resold before you, you know, compromise that welt, if the welt's in good shape, you're good to go. So let's get back to it. Okay, the next thing that we need to do um, is take the old stitches out from this shoe. I'm not sure if you can see them or not, but the old stitches are still in there. They've been taken, you know, when I cut them uh, with a razor blade, uh, it left the, the bottom parts of it, but now I need to go through and pick each of those stitches out. Now that's something that I tell everybody. If you're going to have your boots taken somewhere and have them uh, resold, please make sure that you're taking it to a cobbler with a uh, very good reputation, um, with very good reviews, and you can even ask them when they, when you bring, you know, leave your shoes for resole, hey, do you remove the old stitches before you restitch the sole back in? Um, if they don't do that, then I would not leave your shoes there to be resold. And the reason I say that is because you don't want to go poking new holes all in your welt every time your, your shoes is redone. Your, your welt already has holes in it from the original stitching machine at the factory. If you remove those old stitches, then when we go to stitch it, that machine is gonna reuse those same holes over and over again. And that way you're not putting new, you know, more and more holes in that welt, which will eventually blow it out and it's not worth using any longer. So again, that's one tip. Okay, so you can see all the little perforated holes in the welt right along here. And that is where I have pulled the stitches out of the boot. So now I'm ready to start putting everything back. Uh, put some glue, back, a little bit of glue. And now I have to stick the new cork. Uh, the cork that we use is just the all natural cork, just the big large sheets of it. And then we cut it, put it on there and trim off the excess. Uh, you can also have the kind like at the factory where it just gets really hot and you can smear it on there. Both of them are cork. Uh, they both serve the same purpose. It's just this is a different way of doing it. So I'm going to put this on here, hammer this. So the cork's on there. Now what I'm going to do is just trim all this off, stick it on the other boot here, and then uh, we'll come back and uh, start going from there. All right, guys. So I went ahead and put the new cork into the shoes here, put the wood shank back in there, as you can see on both of those. So they are ready to go. What I'm gonna do now is put a light coat of glue on both of these. And then I'm gonna take the, uh, the day-night soles here. And even though they've already been roughed up a little bit, you can feel that they've been roughed up at the factory. I'm still going to rough them up a little bit more because what you want is to for that glue to be able to, to adhere to that, that rubber sole really well. So I'm gonna rough those up a little bit better. Then I'm gonna take some acetone and just rub over it to remove any of the excess dust and whatnot. And then I'll put a lot of glue, I'll put some glue on that, several coats, and let that dry. And then we'll come back and stick them on. All right, so we've got that done. What we're gonna do now is use a uh, shoe glue. It is a compound glue. Uh, the brand is Masters. Uh, we get questions on our the type of glue we use as well. Uh, it's just a really good all-purpose glue that that we use on you know various shoes and different processes here in the shop. So I'm just going to put a thin coat of glue all over this sole here. All right. So we've got those on the soles. Now we're going to put a little bit on here and along the uh, along the welt. Okay, so we've got a couple of layers of glue on the, uh, the shoe here, and we also have a couple of layers of glue on the rubber day-night sole. We've allowed those glues to set up and cure for a while, and now uh, they're good to go ahead and stick onto the shoe. So 
Let's get to it. So we've got that on really well. And now what we'll do is go put this on the press for a few minutes and uh, let that you know really press down and get a good get a you know tight fit on there. All right, so we're back. We have both of the uh, the boots have been pressed, and you can see there's a good seal now on both of these boots. But what we're going to do now is run it through this old machine here, one of the uh, old Landis machines. And what it's going to do is provide a really tight seal along the welt and the rubber here. And then there's another part of the machine that I'll show you that will then trim off the excess rubber. We have that good tight seal, and now we will begin trimming off this excess. And while it doesn't completely cut it off because this is rubber, it scores it really nicely. So now I'll take the, uh, the razor blade here and cut it off. Okay, so we've got them trenched out, and now we're ready to run it through the, uh, the outsole stitcher here and put the stitch through. Uh, now one of the fun things that you can do is a lot of these shoe, shoe cobblers can play around with thread colors. Uh, you're always going to want to put the, the thread color you know, up at the top here that came from the factory, or at least I would want to. But down here on the bottom where you're walking and most people don't really see it, you can always play around with different color threads too. Now I'm not going to on this one, uh, the guy wants to put it back like you had it at the factory, but um, that's just a little tidbit throwing that out there. We might do that in some future videos. Let's do it. So we went ahead and put on the heel blocks here. Uh, just for the sake of saving some time, I went ahead and put on the hill blocks. I put some glue on top of the uh, hill blocks here, and I also put a couple of coats of glue onto the top lifts. Now, what I'm going to do is put some nails through the, through the through the block to hold it on better. And again, since these are Allen Edmonds, we go in through the top, and you have to make sure that the uh, screws are just small enough that they don't come all the way through where you're. you're Hell of your foot's touching, um, you know, the sharp part. Um, so you want to make sure that they're just big enough that they go into the the rubber sole here. All right, let's put these in. All right. So now that these are in, what we will do is take the top lifts and stick those onto here. Uh, we'll put them on the press to make sure that they're pressed on really well. And after that, you can see here that you have these little holes, the little ones, and that's where we will put the nails down through there and then tap them down so that the, uh, the head sits down low and you don't really see them in there, but that really helps to hold this top lift on really well. All right, so we've got these on and now I'm gonna put them on the press. Okay, so we've got these pressed and now again, I'm just taking these little nails here and I'm gonna put them through the top lift into these uh, you know, these pre-made holes. And I'm hammering these in, and then again, once I've hammered them all in, I will take the uh, nail set here and push the heads of these down in there and countersink them so that you can't really see them. All right, so Nick, so as you can see, they're sunk down in there give it a little more of a clean look. Okay, so we have the hill blocks on, and what I did is I just put a little bit of edge dressing along here just to color in that uh, leather piece along there and along the back here. Uh, we're gonna run this through the buffer here, and it'll make all of that look a million times better. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we have the boots resold. Uh, they're almost ready to go, but before I show you the final product, uh, what I want to do is just give these uppers 
uh, some new life. All right. I'm putting some Saphir Renamat on here to uh, strip off the old cream and build up. Okay guys, so I put the Reno mat on there. You can see that it really stripped off the old creams and waxes and just got it back down to the bare bones of what it used to be. So what we're gonna do now is put some of the Saphir Renovateur uh, shoe cream and conditioner on there. That'll put a lot of oils uh, and conditioners back into the leather. And then after that, we're gonna follow it up with this Saphir light brown color. Uh, that one's almost empty, but we're gonna follow it up with that, which matches the color of these boots, and uh, then we'll be good to go. So after I do that, we'll wrap it up and uh, I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, so we have finished up resoling uh, the pair of Allen Edmonds First Avenue boots. Uh, again, we took off the old leather, uh, put on day night rubber soles and top lifts, stripped down the old wax, and put on some new cream, and they are good to go. Uh, it, it's always fun changing up the soles on some of the shoes and boots, and day night's always a fun one to work with. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment in the section below. We always enjoy getting back to each of you. And again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button, click on the little bell so that you're notified every time we have a new video coming out. Uh, we're trying to send out two videos a week, so we will continually keep you posted on you know, shoe shine, tutorials, behind the scenes, shoe brands and whatnot. And again, we always look forward to having you follow along. Thanks again and have a great day.